By the halfway point of this decade, popular music has been dominated by genres like indie, electronic, pop, dance, and alternative. Hey. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 musical acts from the first half of the 2010s. For our series on the top 10 musical acts per decade, we've based our choices on a mix of an act's success, popularity, and overall musical legacy. What? Every day I'm shuffling. This is part of a series of videos spanning the decades of music from the 1950s to the 2000s. Number 10, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Ice on the fringe is so damn frosty that people like, damn, that's a cold ass home. In 2012, this hip hop duo scored big with their blockbuster debut, The Heist. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. It is a brilliant and heartfelt Grammy winning album that spawned three top 10 singles on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Return to the Mac, get on what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit. They've so far shown that they're not afraid of controversy, Whatever tackling same-sex marriage with same, same love. Strip away the fear, underneath it's all the same love. About time that we raised up sex. But they also know how to be funny and use really catchy beats to their advantage. They had a broken keyboard, I bought a broken keyboard. I bought a ski blanket, then I bought a keyboard. Just have a listen to Thrift Shop, which is a musical ode to getting a good bargain. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. Number nine, Arctic Monkeys. Have you got color in your cheeks? Formed in 2002, this English indie rock band first made a splash with its rockin' 2006 debut, Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not. I said I'm bad by you, look good on the John But it was with later records that they really nailed their sound and got a newfound groove. That is fraction, feels like a distant memory. And I can't help. Albums like Favorite Worst Nightmare, Suck It and See, and AM truly represent the monkeys at their fierce and melodic best. Well, are you mine? Are you mine? To top things off, you can really call them a modern band because it was thanks to the internet that their initial popularity grew and eventually led to a record deal. Number eight, One Republic. Things a week will be. Pop rock didn't get catchier than this during the first half of the 2010s. Following the mega success of Apologize in 2007, the Colorado Springs outfit kept churning out the hits year after year. 2013 saw One Republic earn their first top 10 effort on the Billboard 200 and the inescapable catchiness of the single known as Counting Stars. Everything that kills me makes me feel alive. Thanks to its folky elements, the pop tune put the band at number two on the Hot 100 chart and at the top of many other charts. Seven, Kanye West. Love him or hate him, it can't be denied that this rapper is a talented artist. Constantly reinventing his sound, Kanye knows he's great, but at least it's for good reason. After finding success in the previous decade, Kanye gave us My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy and Yeezus, which represent popular hip-hop music at its euphoric and genius best. They order champagne but still look thirsty. Rock forever 21 but just turned 13. The critics love him, the rap community gives him respect, and his impact is indeed immeasurable. Come and meet me in 
the bathroom style yeah. And show me why you deserve to have it out Let's go. So That she crack Ain't it change so What she order Number six, Muse You won't after making a name for themselves in their native UK, Muse has now found quite a home in other countries, including the US, thanks to their alternative and progressive rock sound. Drawing crowds in the hundreds of thousands, they've got a rep for being one of the best live acts in the world. They've also earned multiple accolades, including Brit Awards and a Grammy. Number 5. Taylor Swift like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh -uh, uh -uh, it. It's hard to ignore the impact this country singer-songwriter has had on popular music in the early 21st century. Yeah, we're happy, free, confused and lonely at the same time. Selling over 26 million albums worldwide and 76 million in digital sales, Taylor Swift also boasts a massive amount of fans. I'm 2012's We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together became her first single to peak at the top of the Hot 100, while I Knew You Were Trouble allowed the young songstress to add some synths and a dubstep vibe to her sound. Judging by its critical and commercial success, we think there are quite a few of you out there who can't help but sing along when it starts to play. Number 4. Daft Punk Although they have produced many iconic dance tracks since the release of their debut album in 1997, this French electronic duo hit a career peak with their 2013 album Random Access Memories. Their infectious and catchy single Get Lucky really got dance floors moving, especially since it featured Pharrell. I'm up all night to get lucky. Not only did the disco and funk-influenced track earn Daft Punk two Grammys, but its parent album also won an additional three trophies. The critics went crazy for it, and its impact will undoubtedly be fully felt once the decade is done. Katy Perry. Unless you're living under a rock, there's no way you haven't heard about this reigning pop star. Her album Teenage Dream spawned five number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100, including California Girls, Firework, and Last Friday Night. Prism. She topped the singles charts again with tracks like Roar and Dark Horse and was named the top certified digital artist ever in 2014 with 72 million digital sales in the US. This Santa Barbara born artist is definitely much more hot than cold so far this decade. Bruno Mars. Never had much faith in love or miracles. You couldn't turn on the radio during the first half of this decade without hearing this singer songwriter's now familiar but distinctive voice. With 
just two full-length albums and 10 top 40 solo hits, he single-handedly owned popular radio in the early 2010s. Do the songs Just The Way You Are, Grenade, Locked Out of Heaven, and When I Was Your Man ring a bell? He was certainly all over the place, and we can't help but love this Honolulu-born crooner just the way he is. Cause girl, you're amazing, just the way you are. Before we unveil our pick for top musical act of the first half of the 2010s, here are a few honorable mentions. Let's make the most of the night like we're going to die. Young hearts out our minds run until we out of time. Work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. We work hard, play hard, keep partying like it's your job. Hey. Don't make you lose your mind. Yeah. They just want to see you. Shake that. Every single chain, even when I'm in the house, cause we started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. There's a fire. Number one, Adele. Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. Yes, she just had one album this decade, but was there a more defining record during the early 2010s than her 21? Other efforts sold more copies worldwide in 2011 and 2012 than Adele's brilliant breakup album. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. It also spawned multiple chart topping singles, and we admit they're still in heavy rotation on our iPods to this day. Don't forget me, I think I'll remember you say. With her beautiful melange of soul and pop, the British singer-songwriter found her way into our hearts and has stayed there ever since. But Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite musical act of the 2010s so far? For more music top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <laughs>